What's up everybody? Welcome to the Odi Podcast. And yeah, I did that shit. I stole that shit. I'm like a pro. I would like to introduce a guest of honor, Dali. And we are getting to know her tonight. So you already know us two fools, Max, Trill, what's up? Dutch is in the mix too. So if you see my dog go across the screen, pro animal life. I don't know. What else am I supposed to do with my dog? She's too big to put in the closet. I can put her outside, but I don't want to. I wouldn't put my dog in the closet. Y'all deal with just it. Kidding. You just stole my whole intro, which is cool. I normally do the intro. I don't have to say anything. Y'all know what it is. Yeah. Um, so do you want to ask me something? I'm going to know you. You're going to know us. Like You want to start it off with her asking us questions? I feel like questions? I have to such the extent a, of like, the questions. That's such a me. poor podcast yeah. host. You can't ask the guests to ask us questions first. Well, you know, whilst we're you know, talking to each other. No, that's for, the, that's for the end of the show. At the end of the show, you can ask us questions. Okay. okay? Sounds great. Um, so how old are you? I'm 26. What's your dating status? Single. You're single. Single. Oh. All right. So I'm gonna ask from a a guy. So how long have you been single? Oh, she's mm, like two years. Okay. I've been single for two years. Do you have you been enjoying your single livelihood? Like, to what's the extent. pros? What's the pros on the cons of like being single? Um. Okay. So pros. You don't really have to answer to anybody. Mm -hmm. Like you can just do you, you know, okay. do what you want. No, like not like that. <laughs> but like you can just, if I wanted to go anywhere right now, like mm -hmm. you anywhere know, she want to go, I go with her. Like I it's could just, all right. you yeah, do but do. I don't know. Like you don't have the same freedom that you do when not Would necessarily you that have you want that, that when you're in a relationship. Right exactly, you don't necessarily want the freedom in the relationship. So like before, um, what would you rather have? The freedom or the non-freedom? Or the relationship? Hey, I didn't um, say it. You said it. There's pros and cons to both. Like there's benefits to both. But right now, at this point in my life, I think that I've been single for a long time. Oh, like, so you saying I, you'd rather have the relationship? Yeah, yeah. Like now, at this point, I'm glad that I was. Are you trying to say you had like a hot girl summer or some shit? What are you trying? Yeah, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. But now I'm more like I want to do lame girl shit. I want to stay at home. I want to like. Can read I, a book before bed. Can I, you know, can I, can I ask you, <laughs> just be healthy. Like I'm gonna tell you from my own perspective. I don't mean to. Um, no, we we let's rewind a little bit. Okay. Going, going too far. Going too far. Too fast. <laughs> all right. So. All right. So how long have you been living in, in Jacksonville? For about six years. Six years. Six years. Yeah. Do you have a son? I have two daughters. Ooh. I have two daughters. So All right, so let me ask you this. If I'm a young man who, you say you what? How old you say you was again? 26. 26. 26. I, I, I'm, I'm going to forget this shit all night. <laughs> I, I'm going to remember that deli, though. That yeah. shit ain't going nowhere. I'm going to remember That's that deli because they're talking meat. <laughs> but um, <laughs> you, you good. I still got a lingering one, too, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> Ooh. I smoke blacks, so my like, if I got sick from three months ago, yeah, it'd be like that mother. Yo, keep it forever. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It just tell me you smoke. That all it is. <laughs> <laughs> but um, your question long, bro. Bro, I just, I'm, 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 honestly, I ain't gonna lie. I, I kind of got sidetracked with what I was talking to her just now. I forgot what fuck I was gonna ask her. Okay, so. I want to know, so you've been, you, you now coming back into the market and um, trying to find coming somebody. Coming back? She's been on the market for two years. But she, she wasn't seriously on the market, you know, she was doing what she wanted to do. Now she is considering, you know. Looking for a partner? Looking for a partner. Yeah. Man, but get you, the hell out of here. She, uh, you said like 2022 was oh. a big self will give for you. Mm -hmm. How or like what did you believe you did or learn from that year that allow you to think that oh this leads you, to a good question you know done the work that's necessary to move on positively okay so 
2022, okay. I was in a very, uh, again, I told you I was in a very toxic relationship. Mm -hmm. And by toxic, I meant like abusive. So Whoa. it was a very Physically long, or mentally? Both. So for a point in my life, I was healing through like everything that happened for the past four years because it was a long relationship. So after that, I just, I wanted to be alone and I wanted to just not necessarily see what was out there, but I felt like I was so restricted in like my relationship mm -hmm. that I lost like who I was as a person and like what I wanted out of my own life because I was so busy like catering to somebody else and like why, you know it, why were you catering to them so much what were they like why why, why do you feel like you were catering so much um because being in like a very toxic and abusive relationship takes a lot out of you mentally so like for most of the what the relationship you would you act, say you were in to cause him to be like he wants to yell or put his hands on you. Mind you, I also want to t remind you, like we are, like, cause we could cut all this, but I do want to remind you that we are on camera. And yeah, yeah, yeah. People, I, know, you, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm, gonna I'm keep just, it I just want to remind you. Know? I just want to know what type of situations there may have been, because I, I'm, I, I would never like swing at her or do anything like that, but I would grab her or come here, stop this, whatever the fuck you doing because you drunk, stop acting up, come here. That's not abusive. That's me just being protective. It it started off like... You say you in the house thing. and he'll just, just go just off on you? Come Was in he the, an alcoholic? He would, he would come in the house and just be angry about something that happened and like take it out on me like there was like points where like i just wouldn't even like speak because it would always cause like some type of argument you know to get to that point and like it was like the highs were high and the did he have a low, little bit you know <laughs> no oh. i just gotta ask the questions <laughs> no <laughs> it's like it's not like about sex that keeps you in that relationship. It's like, not about sex to me. I just think that people have little dicks that are a little bit more aggressive. No, not really. That's a theory I've been trying to test. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm gonna ask the question more. <laughs> oh my god. Um, if she says, if a woman says she has an abusive guy, I'm gonna be like, was he packing? Yeah, he was, he was packing. <laughs> No, that's besides the point. Um, you just, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't just go from happy to was he what, Was he trying to tell you to do something? Or was it just, are you- I feel like you're kind of like trying to- Validate it? Validate what happened. Yeah. And there's no validation yeah. because yeah. a lot I'm of- I'm not saying there's a validation. I'm just trying to like figure out where I did. I'm trying to figure it's out where his, like, his mind was at. Why, like, why right. would you know? Like, why would you? I, I don't understand. So you get what I'm saying? So I'm trying to understand. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not yeah. trying to validate. I'm just trying to understand. If you there's could. with people that are habitual abusers, like there's no like reason they could just do it because they feel like it because they have the power over you to do that you know i mean she so might like, sometimes with her I, i'm not gonna lie to you I, you can't tell from talking to me sometimes i talk loud i'm kind of loud and boisterous i say shit sometimes when i ain't supposed to say shit and she look at me like mm. you know what i'm saying like I, i'm kind of loud and boisterous so for her sometimes we get in arguments and i'm loud what the fuck are you talking about but you're not abusive no, so like never, exactly yeah. you don't have to be like hitting somebody to be abusive but like abuse and abusive relationships start with just somebody that I just is pushing sure. their limits can you I, know I, if that's really what it is just a, a yeah. power play to see like how far you can can I, can I also be move on. I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna give you a kudos too I'm very glad you didn't say he was a narcissist oh my god how many females come on here and say oh my god he was oh my god she said he was I mean th that was an ass but it, yeah <laughs> that sounds like a, a, a more of someone who I don't want to say the word no, but... you meet narcissists and they you? they portray to be somebody else 
All right, so I'm not trying to analyze her relationship. No, 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 no. Okay, so uh, one thing I want to say, you, you asked her a question about improving. I wanted to ask you, who do you think tries to improve more, men or women? It depends on... Oh, don't say it depends. You got to choose. It depends on a lot of things, but on for the most part, for the Who most you think? part, women. Okay, why do you say that? Because men... I disagree, but I want to hear you all. Okay, okay, men think of women like when a, when a straight man thinks of a relationship with a woman, right? He thinks No, I'm talking about the question is... Who I know, but she's giving her, just let her, we can critique it after she gives right, her. Right, right. Okay. Like, it, I'm going somewhere with it. Okay, it's just okay. a straight go, man yeah, because okay. we're talking about straight relationships, okay, yeah, you go, know? Go ahead, say what you were saying. Um, when he thinks of a potential partner, he thinks of like certain traits that, realistically speaking, not everyone has as women, <laughs> you know? Like, so you a man can it. think like, a woman cooks and cleans and like does, you know, basically a man puts a woman in a box and women you because they in fall the in love and because they like the person, they start conforming to the box. So they start changing things about themselves to fit. You sound into like you the hate box. the box. No, not necessarily. Like that that's not what I'm saying at all. I I'm saying uh, that what I'm also saying is you don't think men are put into a box too? Of course, of course. So, so then what, but, so, should I, you stop, I don't think you should live in feels, you should live in reals, what's really real. The men get away with, like, a woman can have a box, but a oh, man no. can get away with coming out of the box a couple of times, and like, the woman will just allow that because they love them. But like, a woman, in her nature, it's like nurturing. You don't think like, that happens for women too? I'm she sure it does. Clean, I'm saying I'm just more. She look pretty. You, I, the question was, who did who it try, more? No, I said, who tries to improve more? Right. So the woman, in her head, she's thinking she's improving by being able to fit in this box that men put for them, you know? Mm. Whereas, like, a man... What, is, what is it, Can I ask you, what do you think a man's box is? You already said a little bit of what you think a woman's box is, cooking, cleaning, and blah, 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 blah. What do you think a man's box is? As far as society standards? Yeah, what do you think a man like? Okay, a do? man is supposed to provide and like be this masculine energy who like, mm. you know, somebody, the robber comes to the door, he's no. gonna like, you know, protect and mm. like provide mm. and like, you know, do all of those things. Those are boxes, yes. Okay, okay. But you asked who tries to improve themselves more and I'm saying women so, do because men get away with more. Okay, can I say something? So I would say like, you don't want a man who can protect you in certain situations which you may seem or deem regular. Like if threatening. you mean, yeah, like. I think the word she was trying to say is threatening. A regular threatening situation, nothing too crazy. Mm -hmm. Not with a gun, like, you know, somebody, a guy is trying to fight you and he's just standing there. Like, this guy is okay, trying so to fight like, you and he's standing there. There's also different types of men. So like the date, the men I would date, aren't necessarily for everybody. That wasn't know? what I was gonna say. But it's, it's just to point out like... Men have to improve significantly yeah, more than to women To get do. you guys, significantly they have to more. Do, they have to for you to best. even be attracted to a man, for all the men that you're attracted to, all right, let me tell you a little, a little a small statistic. One third of all men are either virgins or haven't had sex in a year. Only 20% of all men are fucking 80% of all women. Does that click or make any mathematical sure, sense to yeah. you? So there's a small percentage of men fucking a large percentage of women. Right. So the, the amount of work it takes to get into that little group to fuck all these bitches, you gotta work hard. Okay, but what are the one third men doing that like so the improvement is that you want a guy to have money so now he has to or, hold on he has to learn to make money you want a guy who could be persuasive how, he, he has to learn to be persuasive so that he has guy, to learn what you want he has to go guy, he has to try to talk that, to other women and that guy that you're seeing in front of you that you're like yo he's it 
he had to build that himself. Nobody gave him that. But we got we as girls get handouts. Like your dad You're or your pretty. mom are not gonna see you on just you know pretty. the side just kind of needing some help and they saying girl get it on your own men have to pr improve significantly but more with like what you're saying you're kind of like i feel like you're They're saying you're men saying that, that there are fun. women that don't have to improve yes, themselves to get to the exact same point yes. like they for example just like the country man. okay let's talk about like the country like women have to work twice as hard to be considered for like so wait, men. The country you know like just like what in the country in the united states of they America, have to do what to be what women have to work twice as hard to do what to just be recognized in what a man would do i, you I know? disagree i i, I think serena williams is recognized on the same level as tom brady sure but not only Serena Williams is a horrible example because she's I'm just, also a I was, woman. I'm just saying that a woman, a woman is, uh, on every level, athletically, musically, acting. But if there's a woman like on the, the same level as a man, women, on every level. for example, like just like a crazy example, women didn't get the right to vote till the 20s. You know, like what does that mean? So just like little things like that, like I feel like women have had to just work you, really hard. I, you know. <sighs> Okay, so we have to work hard, but okay. men have always had to work hard. Who you think built this country? Who you think built the railroads, I, the buildings I, look, you live look, in, look, look, the plumbing, please, the sewage? Please, please stop. Men I, have always had to work but hard. But women didn't have that right. That doesn't matter. That's like 100 years ago. Why are you right, talking about something that happened 100 years was, ago? There was no That's what I'm trying to say. Vote your. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Why does it matter? Vote your. Vote your. 100 years ago. We're talking about practice. something that. Okay, let's move on. Let's just move on. It means nothing. So, let's move on. You could do it now. If you wanted to build some plumbing and do some railroad work, you could do but, that now. But as, but just as Would a female, know? like, we, uh, we get more handles. Okay. I'm listening to her. It's fine. Continue. Yeah, so we get a lot of handouts as females. Yeah. And guys don't get those handouts. Never. So the life that they have to live is a lot different to what we have to live. A man and woman are not the same. So when it comes to the lifestyle of cheating or, you know, how you may operate or how loud or rude or just how you carry yourself, like we live up to different standards because that's just the standard now if we want to fight for equality and say we want it to be equal then girl i hope you're okay with getting that top shelf can of noodles because he can't get it top shelf noodles. can of noodles paying for your own drinks and but bars I, and clothes i'm and a single mother so i i experience it i right do now. everything by myself as a woman me personally mm -hmm. as a woman i'm looking for a man to be that like half of the household you know i don't have that so like another woman who might not be pretty in society standards and might not you know go through the same things i go through i think i'm a pretty girl you know so i know that i do get handouts as a woman do you think pretty girl privilege exists of course i believe most definitely yeah most definitely and i experience it constantly you know i do and like that's like really ill like <laughs> you know but no. it's true like as as somebody who works in an industry where literally men talk to you i know that with my pretty privilege i can literally tell them anything and i will get what i want out of the situation because that that's my job that's what depending i depending on who you talk to depending but, on who i yeah, talk to but, of course but what the, but what about an ugly woman in society standards what yeah. about a woman that doesn't he's still fucking her too carry the no but it's not about no one is talking about anybody's having sex with anybody right now i'm just saying right i'm just saying in general that, that like those like women might women. struggle compared to like something that might get handed to me and so like what about those women because you guys are saying that basically like the men have to go through that but the women do too i feel like i have to be extremely censored you right know, now and i can't say what you know, i want to say just, but i no. wanted to say something just now when i'm just you know i mean you can say what you have to say yeah. but you're, talking, you but you're talking about well men are hot you, you literally just said well they getting fucked too yeah but no one is talking about men having sex with those women no right. one is talking about sex right now 
If they pop some pussy, they get what but, they want. But we, but we weren't talking about sex though. That's okay. So okay, what else you have to say about popping pussy? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that if a, 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 a female who's not pretty, if she pops some pussy, she gonna get what she want too. I generally believe the hard work that men or women do on their own playing field will always be different just because we are different. We, are we have different experiences. In life. Completely. We live different lives. So like yeah. you're comparing men and women like... I'm not trying to compare men and women. It's not to say I just ask to. you... Right. Who right. I, it's, this is a exactly. general question. I understand. Yeah. But the, improve, the, man. The purpose of this... My bad. You go ahead. But improve, say. man. Men have to do that because they are not given anything. As a female, again, your parents are gonna say, "Do you have a brother? Wait, do you have a brother? I have a brother." Okay, so do you believe that your brother was treated exactly? Do you think your brother lived a harder life than you lived? Yeah. No, absolutely not. not? He lived exactly. He lived it. Men, it, I feel like okay. Realistically speaking, we, all of us, mm -hmm. didn't grow up in a white household. Okay, so it's different for white people versus me, a guess. Hispanic person, versus you guys who are black people. You know, mm -hmm. it's a completely different experience. So if we're talking as a whole, let's talk about white people too. Because if you think about how white people are, and you think about white men in society, I don't think it's you be think that they it, it does though I because think white men get ahead us. of everything oh. you guys say that men don't get handed things mm -hmm. think about white men they've been handed literally generation after generation yeah they get handed generational wealth wealth still and, and but still they have, to, they have we to may, we as no. a whole may not have compared to a white man let you me know what let I mean? me explain something to you so like their struggles so that white man you know? could have all the money he could have all the money in the world but if he wants to find himself a beautiful wife and live a wonderful life, he's gonna have to improve himself. He's gonna have to go to the gym. He's gonna have to fucking read books and do whatever the fuck he gotta do. You don't think women stupid. settle for just money? Yeah, they do. Uh, absolutely, you, honey. We're talking about equality. But one, you settling is not you having to work hard to get something. That's just you saying, I'm gonna take that. Yeah. Right now, but he, he worked to be that. Right. You you just say I'm gonna. You're talking about some dude who just got money and retarded. Okay, yeah, he can still probably maybe get some girl to take advantage of him. I understand your point. So I'm just being I, real. Like he, I I do say overall, <laughs> I'd say men because men who build. And tell me, house. every woman don't want her some 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 handsome prince. Some, she want to be Cinderella, and he come in and swoop her away. Absolutely, absolutely. I think just as, I think just we just woman. agreed to disagree on that one. <laughs> Hey, I just was, I just, it's a, it's a, it's a little, you know. I love uh, this. I yeah, love yeah, yeah. the debate. I love okay. um, Do you, do you? Yeah, you can ask questions. Oh, you know what I'm going to bring into this mix? What? The time glass? I am. Um, okay, so, so we don't stay too long. Time glass, right? So mm -hmm. this is supposed to help us. Not stay on the topic too long. Okay. Sorry if I'm finishing her sentences. No, you're Maybe. good. Yeah, so one of us start a topic, yeah. Are women narcissists? He just asked me if huh. women. Uh, I don't like your question. Women as a whole aren't narcissists. There wow. are narcissistic women, just like there are narcissistic men. Just like no, there are narcissistic. I think most women nowadays are narcissists. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold yes. up. Why y'all have to use really big words? Are you saying woman narcissist means they love themselves? Yeah, I think most. Women, I love myself. I think most women take too many That's selfies. Not what a They're on is. Instagram too much, and they look at all these DMs and all these hearts and likes. No, and they I'm not a narcissist. Just, I take that back. That's just a yeah. like for attention. That's not a narcissist. Okay, so what is a narcissist? What is a narcissist? Then should we should we Google this yes. definition? I, that's why I was asking. You know, there is narcissistic rules. personality. What is a narcissist? Let me make sure I have this right. So Narcissism. Personality qualities include very highly of oneself, needing admiration. Is that not likes and shit on not Instagram? That's that a narcissist is. Hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. Believing others are inferior. No. Keep you going. don't think women are like that? No. Keep going. But keep going. If she bad, she is. Uh, and lacking empathy for others. Women are definitely like So that. are you trying to say we ugly? Who? Because we just said no, nah, and you said if she bad, then yeah. I, I think you like that. I think you like empathy for sure. 
I don't like empathy. Lack. Oh, I lack empathy? No, I'm just real. That's just... <laughs> I am just Get really out of here. Cool me down for a Okay, so up. so what's your what's your craziest experience you had since being single? You don't have to share. Oh, if you don't want to share, you can take a shot. Oh. My craziest experience being single. Just take yeah. a shot. I wanna hear you I'm slur. thinking. <laughs> yeah. Like what's your craziest, I guess, like night? Like you wanted to do this and this is how it ended up. Did you have a, a really good night? Like Everything was a plan. It wasn't plan. It just happened. I had a night like that with you. There's been a couple of like nights like that, but like me as a person, mm -hmm. I don't think that. So like the nights that like you're talking about are probably like drunken nights and like hanging out. You don't even stuff. remember. But like me personally, I feel like I'm just a different like I like a different type of experience. So like for me, I the the best experiences were the ones where I was literally by myself just like outside like okay reflecting and stuff not being out with my friends or like that's doing cool anything. I love nature a lot yeah, yeah. so that I sounds so gay I don't like well, what's, about that what's shit. your experience like bae with what what's how you feel tell how, us how I you. feel yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> With how I feel. Just tank, keep tanking. <laughs> but why does he keep tanking? Um, okay, so I guess that's cool. Can yeah. I have something to do with head or some shit? Can I be like, I got some head and it was like, oh shit. <laughs> like, that's how I felt. <coughs> that's how I felt in the moment. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. That's how I felt at the moment. So it's <laughs> like, what is? How, what do you mean by how I feel? I don't know. I was just trying to be sympathetic to your feelings. That's what you asked her? No. I don't think that's what you asked her. I did not, so, but I was just... I wanted you to ask me what you asked her. I forgot. Oh my God. That's why all my questions on my phone. Boom! I got another one for you. Oh my God. Be simple. Come, be polite. I'm trying to get to know her. I'm not interrogating her. I know. He's over here right? just asking me the hardest right. questions ever. Wanna... You want to get to know her? What is she want to know about her? Her name's Deli. She <laughs> likes me. She <laughs> So, in your mix of mixes, mixes, because you've been single for two years, so I'm pretty sure you've run across like a bunch of guys, right? Oh, why do you have to say yeah. it like that? I mean, because a lot of people would hit on her. Oh. Right? Sounded yeah. gross yeah, for a yeah, second. Yeah. Ran across a lot of guys. <laughs> been through a lot of dick, huh? No. You been down that road, huh? That shit sounded. Oh, why are you saying that? Like what? What? What would you say is the guy's biggest fault when he's approaching you? Speak up. Because most guys falter. That sounds like a, a very I technical know. question. Yeah, I know why I said. Where do where do where do, where do niggas fuck up when they're trying to holler at you? Where they yeah, fuck up they, at? They, what, they, they, what, they, what, they, what do you think is the biggest fuck up nigga do when he uh, niggas come up to you and they're trying to talk to you? He just trying to get your number. He, Simple he, ass he, shit. He, he just trying to really. He either. just want to get your number. He could be sweet, like hey, ma hey, ma'am, or be like hey, how you doing? If he say ma'am, you think he too young? Just let a nigga know. Like that's what this podcast is really supposed to be for to help niggas understand women. So I don't know if you understand that why I'm asking you these questions about how you think of what I'm trying to yeah, drill yeah, you. Yeah. Get. I got this you. podcast purpose is for men to understand how women think. Okay. So somebody could be watching this podcast and be like, yo, I'm going to holler at her. Like, I, I, I'm going to talk to her. And I will put your Instagram on it, whatever, at the bottom <laughs> of it. He's going to holler at you. going to hit you with the DMs, whatever. He like, I want to talk to her. I think she's nice. I wanna, but what you know. do you think is a, a guy's biggest, you know, fuck up when trying to talk to a girl or just talk to you that you've seen so far? The biggest thing with me is I get the ick because men act so familiar. Like, they act like they know me. They got to. No, 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 no. There is a respectful man. Like, I've had a man come sit down next to me and say, you are the prettiest girl in this room and it would, like, I really just want to get to know you. Can I take you out to dinner? You like And that? he was not the most attractive 
but just the way he approached me was very respectable and it got him dinner with me <laughs> you know but like if a man <laughs> sits down next to me and he's like trying to touch me and like trying to be like Ew. hey like you are so beautiful like just trying to get all close to me and just kind of like disrespect first of all me as a person, to all men that's touching when I'm like, touching is the first red flag don't touch space. don't touch they touch and they like Throw in the back, cup with your hands. You, oh, can I tell you something? No. This, if I, for me being, if I'm being a dating coach, touching is acceptable after you already talked to her because that lets you know how of she. Of course. That's, that lets you know how she feels about you. Of course. So after you're already talking to her and y'all have something established, then you can try to touch her back or touch no, her shoulder. Definitely. And if she moves like this, stop touching. Stop. Just stop touching. Stop. Just move your hand back and be like, oh, okay. So respect the boundary until yeah. she moves a little closer. You right, you but know? I, I do want to let you know that a lot of men, when they listen to dating coaches or guys, because I want to let you know, it's not easy to get. It's not easy to to be that type of guy, to do to be yeah, to yeah. do that. It's not easy. Right. He has to have confidence and be like, I'm doing this. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm yeah, talk. Yeah. And she's the most beautiful girl. I'm gonna go fucking sit next to her and say this shit. I'm gonna talk to her. It takes a lot of confidence to do that. Of course. So if for him to do that. He, not to say he has been listening, but a lot of dudes listen to dating coaches or YouTube like channels like this, and they're like, I'm gonna go do some shit like that. And you just, you just said a pickup line yourself, basically. Right, That's exactly. Like, you just said it. You I just, like to be approached with respect, and I like to be like, I like to feel like I'm pretty. Mm -hmm. So, like, when a guy approaches me and just like flatters me and like not like a overwhelming way like that's the way you can be funny too like throw in a little cute like look up a little joke or something oh, yeah, you know, it's funny shit. and cute and that i love that you, you got though. me so old that like, shit fuck you, you up know? sometimes though but don't touch me <laughs> <laughs> like don't fucking touch me <laughs> for, i will like, tell you personally for me as a man if i'm if i'm being a dating coach Look, if you talk to her for the first time approaching her, the worst thing you can do yeah. is touch her. That's the worst, literally. But it, if you're in a club environment, it's kind of hard because all you've seen another dude dancing her and walk off, it's kind of hard for you to be like, I just want to ask her for her number. And it's not different touch her if, if you, you just want to like talk to her, though. If you see a girl dancing with a guy, he just wanted to dance and that's it. Goodbye. But like if a guy is approaching me and you want to talk to me, you want my time, you want me to Can sit I explain with you something and to you? speak with you. Like, Can I explain something to you? I'm the type of dude who if I go to the club, I see you dance with somebody, I will never ask you for your number. Of course. There's people like that. And there's people that are like, oh, like I she's got like people, you know. You know? Yeah. I, I, so what do you yeah. think is the hottest part of dating? The like, hottest? The the hottest. She's hardest. The hottest. <laughs> oh my god, it got hot in here when she said that. Ooh, it got so hot in here. It's getting hot in here. I just want you to <laughs> What is the hardest part of dating? Yeah, like you, you hookup culture. Ooh, so why do you say that? Hookup culture. Hookup culture. I do like hookup culture. Hookup culture is nice for me. I like hookup culture. Don't get me wrong. There's benefits to hookup culture. You know, like you just want a little situationship with somebody. You want to chill with them and whatever. But this day and age, society has like... Can I tell you something? Wait, I want to oh, hear what you Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Society has made it to where like that's the only thing that people want instead of like and not necessarily everybody you know i'm just like making a no you're absolutely assumption. correct continue to say but what you, no you're correct about hookup culture has had a really big impact in our society mm -hmm. and so like phones and social media and stuff mm -hmm. has made it so accessible to have access to just multiple people that you can constantly be in contact with yeah you correct you know keep, keep, yeah. so like with the minds so like again i was single for two years and i wanted to be single and i wanted to do me and i oh you know, why did you want to be single i was all with hookup culture until oh i God. don't and so now i'm in the process of like struggling with finding real because of hookup culture you know is it have you uh, so Let's just say right now, if you talk to the last 10 guys that you talk to, try to take them to do, do you believe you have more people trying to take you seriously? Or? 
it's just kind of fucked up, honestly. But like, <laughs> I feel like the people that I'm not interested with, or like I'm not interested in, like you, they want that with me. Mm -hmm. And the people I that I oh, am like attracted guys. to, and what I want. So many RP what type, right now. what type of guy are you attracted to? <laughs> Describe him for me. Describe <laughs> me. Let's do build him out. Dig into these RP truths. Okay, she just said so many RP truths just now. Okay, okay. let's go for it. I need some, I need so, some more drinks. Let me just get my part off. I had I've been, I've been trying to I've been trying to keep this. Oh yeah, you go ahead, fish up. Just get up. Just go I know. I just flipped this. Okay. Like three minutes. Fuck that. I'm going longer than that. So <laughs> you said. I'm good. I'm good. Right? You said earlier something about. The type of men who are interested in you, you're not interested in them. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that statistic I told you earlier? Yeah, yeah, of course. 20% of all men are fucking 80% of all women. The yeah. guy you're not interested in is in the 80% of men. Yo, wait, can I ask a quick question? When is the last time you try to pick up a guy? I'm a very confident person. Okay, I didn't ask that. So, I no, like, I, I can't really necessarily, because, like, if I like somebody and they're kind of looking at me, I would just go up to you and talk to you and, okay, like, so. not feel any type of way about it. So, like, I don't know, it's hard for me to narrow that down, because I don't necessarily do that all the time, but, like, I do do that, you know? In a month's time, how many times you did it? I don't know, because it's different, because I work in an industry where people are available, you know? I mean, okay. So like I don't necessarily go out. I do it in kind of like a work setting. Yeah. You be like, hey, you're cute. Give me your number. No, no. Like, <laughs> Write it on this napkin. I like That's... to think I'm charming. Like I like to think I'm like funny, and people find me like, oh, you're so cute. You know. So like I use that. I use that. Yeah, you're not that charming. You're just pretty. So they're just gonna laugh. Oh at my you. god. They're just. <laughs> they're just gonna laugh at you no matter what you say. They're gonna, no matter what you say, they're gonna be like. <laughs> That. I didn't That's say that. Wild. I'm just. I didn't say that. I'm just saying that no matter what you say, he's gonna be like, oh, ha, 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 "That's so funny." Oh. He's gonna just laugh. He's just gonna. He's gonna laugh. No matter what you say, that motherfucker gonna laugh. He don't okay. give a fuck what you said. Yeah. I'm being. I'm being real. One thousand percent. Even her. She thought she was super funny. Till one day we've been dating long enough, and I looked at her one day and said, "Babe." That shit wasn't funny. <laughs> right? So that's why when you were saying, you know, on Family Feud, like, when you not tell your spouse that you want to tell your spouse, I'm like... Yeah, they're not funny. She's... <laughs> oh my god, I felt so good. Why does sneezing feel good to you? Oh. That shit sucks. I know, but do you know how hard it is to try to sneeze and then shake your hand? Like, that would have been terrible. That would have been a terrible sneeze. Thank you. Thank you so much, babe. I was like, you didn't even do that. I did it. <laughs> Anyways, we lost track. You got another question? Were you trying to I make do, her build a I man? Do. Or were you trying to ask another question? What are we doing? So I want to ask you. Um, the size matter. No, are you submissive? Oh, she didn't know what the pow. Absolutely. I, in my life, other people may not agree with this, but me personally, like what I want in life is like, I guess what you would call traditional roles. Okay. So Ooh. like, as a woman, me personally, I can only speak for myself as a woman, but I like a man to take charge and... But to, if he take charge, are you gonna say he abusive though? That's not, <laughs> it's different. <laughs> I had to say it, I had to, I'm not so, not. so basically you're saying you, you would respect a dominant man. If, if you say you would, are you being made submissive? Me feel that, safe. Yes. If I felt safe enough to be submissive. a submissive person, mm. then absolutely, a hundred percent. What does he have to do to make you feel safe? Just like. Men want to hear this come from women's mouth because they, right. they genuinely sometimes don't know what to do. Right. So that's definitely a thing that men are. No, men act clueless. No, because we, women give them passes to act clueless. Because like if I So you're saying you tell them exactly what you want. 
if men listened, then yes, so, absolutely. Okay, so you women you tell me that women you tell men what they so like I cannot speak for women. I can speak for myself. Mm -hmm. So me personally, I feel safe by a man allowing me to be myself and <laughs> allow me to <laughs> ho, ho, uh uh you can't be yourself. Shut up. You can't be yourself because I can't be myself. Yes, you can. Okay. Before so. I met you, I was a thought. I was running through holes. Can I continue to be myself? No, that's different. No, yeah, that's how does that's, how that's different? You. That's not who you are as a person. So like, okay, let's say if I'm just like a weird person and I like did weird shit. I like I that. would want to make that's it exactly. But not all men like that. So for example, like. Man, nigga, like, bro, the nigga, the, if he ain't, look, if he don't like the weird shit about you, the little weird little kinks, you doing shit that's weird that he never even fucking liked exactly, you. Exactly, 100%. So a man that makes me feel like he likes me is something that would make me be submissive towards him. Mm, yeah. She a man that makes me that. feel like he, I could just be myself I'm and I... Like okay. <laughs> so, length of it. Whoa. Girl. Ooh. Why you say ooh like that? <laughs> Would you rather be a stay-at-home mom married to a millionaire or a single self-made millionaire with no kids? I so have fast. kids so I'm biased so probably the first one. I'd rather be married to a millionaire. Mm. Okay. And be a stay-at-home mom. I'm with you. So do you care about how much a mom makes? <coughs> What's your standards? It's your standards, so no one is judging. I do care what a man makes to an extent mm -hmm. because I provide for myself and I do everything for myself. So if I'm welcoming somebody in my space, like it's kind of like, kind of harshly put like what are you doing for me like why do I want you around me if you're not like helping me have a better life you know mm. okay so are you a 50 50 person or you're saying better life as in 50 50 is done a different way and so while I feel like you have to both put effort into a relationship I don't think that you don't think somebody should 50, be more than the other right so like Let's say we have kids together and I'm a stay-at-home mom mm -hmm. and my potential husband is a provider, right? 50-50 mm -hmm. would be, okay, I'm working between the hours that he's working and when he comes home, he's going to help me with the household because <laughs> we like work together, you know, like type of shit. <clears throat> like just like... A household that is a partnership more so than just Why like you gotta a help person you with carrying. What you I'm not do? saying like clean up and shit, you know, what but you like do just that's an example. Like, no, I'm asking you what you gotta do. There's shit to do around the house. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm, As no, a man, that's not, like, no, I'm asking. I'm, I'm asking like what well, I'm, I'm not saying like if. Me, me personally, mm -hmm. if I'm in a relationship with somebody, I'm like a giver. Like, I'm like, oh, here you go. Here's your food. Like, here's that. Just naturally, that's who I am as a person, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, if I cook, at least help me clean up. What? Because I'm feeding both of us, you clean know? Up what? Just like the what I cooked in, you know, the just dishes. like little simple. I'm not saying like this is like an everyday <coughs> thing, but I'm saying like a partnership like that. So like while you're home or I'm sorry, while you're at work providing and taking care of. So things, you expect I him also, to help with the dishes? No, not necessarily. That's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm giving examples. <laughs> I'm saying that a partnership should be 50-50. So like if I need to You think the dishes is 50-50? No. So what are we talking about? Like... You're stressing me out. <laughs> like, what are you trying to say? Hey, I'm just, I, I, I'm just trying to help you're you. You're like dissecting what I'm saying. Yes, I'm like, trying to help you I, out. I'm just, like back to the yes, don't try to steal my catchphrase. Stop the shit. Yeah, I'm peeling back layers. That's what I'm doing. Yes. I'm trying to get down to the source of what okay. you're trying to say. A partnership 
in both eyes. Because if you and me wash dishes, I'm sorry, boo boo, it ain't gonna work out. I ain't washing. Okay, them. that's that's your limit, but how do you compensate for that? Compensate in the for house? what? So you're saying that, like, let's say you are the provider and you have mm -hmm. a stay-at-home person. When she you stay come at home, home, she. You know. Okay, so you're a fifty-fifty person. Yeah. Okay, cool. So like, let's say a person that. <laughs> <laughs> Still ain't doing no motherfucking dishes. A stay-at-home person <laughs> and a provider could be 50-50 because I'm taking care of the household, which right. is where you live 50% of the time, and you're taking so, care of the finances, so, which is where you live. All right, so the time. I'm talking shit, just being funny, but I, I will do the dishes because she she ain't home all the time. Yeah. So if she ain't home, the fuck I'm gonna. That's you stepping up. That's you doing your part. But like, there's. There's people like you know like Reddit. But if she home, stories. but if she home though, I'm Yo, not Reddit really has like, the craziest story. That I agree. To say I agree with you. That that has changed my perspective on a lot of things because a lot of women will be like, oh, I'm a stay-at-home mom. My husband works, you know, a nine that to mean, five, and then, and then he comes come home. And no, do the no. Then he comes home and he stays on the game all day while the kids are still your kids. I do why aren't you watching them? You know what I mean? Like, oh, I need to go to the store. Why, you can do that sometimes. You? You're stressing me out. Okay. No, the camera on. I ain't got nothing to. So, so I got. What you mean? What you mean about watching them? Cause I'm, like, I'm talking about Reddit right now. Like, I'm talking about stories there that like. A, a father doesn't help with. He his come home kids. and he and he and he go to his to, to his, his. So you school. think that when you come home, you still don't have responsibility as a father or as a man in the house? No, I got you plenty of responsibility. Exactly. I, 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 I don't know. Oh, better question. Better question. What? You come home from your day of work, right? Mm -hmm. Mama job is to do everything, whatever the house is. Let's just say y'all have mm -hmm. four kids. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When she and not all of them are grown in school, so she has a baby with her at one point in time all day. Mm -hmm. When you come home, if you hopped on the game one time, do you ever believe mom needs a relief before the end of the night when all the kids are just in bed? Or do you think you could say... I mean, if you got four kids, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, like, and personally, my kids, every single one of them will be athletes, so we got to be picking them up from soccer, tennis, yeah, football, basketball. It's so if be, the mom did that all day, every day, and the husband just came home and decides, you know what, you've what done that shit all day, every day, but no, I'm no, going to play my game, game every night, play, no. all night. No, I might play every night. After the shit but done. But you don't after, take care of shit as a man in the house. Like, okay, let's take I'm the gonna take care of my shit and then play the game. Yeah. You ain't gonna leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take care of my shit and go play the game. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> so, would you, you, you let your terminally ill significant other link with their ex as their dying wish? Absolutely. What? Okay, explain to me. Hold up, hold up. Wait. No, <laughs> rewind, rewind, rewind. Say that one time. Would you let your terminally ill significant other link with their ex as they And you just said yes? Wish. Yes. What does this ring mean? That's a, that's a topic for a different, like, it's a lot of things. <clears throat> it's nothing crazy. It's just a lot of things. All right. Yeah. What you said? What you were saying? Would you let your significant other sleep with their ex and you said yes? No, she didn't say sleep with their ex. She, yes. Yeah, she oh, you said sleep with them. Yeah. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Not sleep with them. If they wanted to see them, like one time, you know, I, I need to make amends with everybody before I die. Oh, hell no. Yeah, yeah, go before ahead. they die, they want to But have if sex they want to fuck them, they want to have sex? Yeah. Yeah. That's how it's like. Um. That's wild. That's <laughs> You know, a female has told her man before that yeah, I want to have sex with this my I want to have sex with my ex one more time. That's before. insane. This is a real thing. This is real. This has actually happened. A woman has told her man before I want to have sex with my ex. I would be I leaving my dying husband at <laughs> that what? point in time. What? No. You're gonna deal he, with a divorce till he, you die. He, he was hurt. He was hurt, but I, I mean, he, the, the, the he other, did it. He allowed that to happen. 
yeah, I think so. They're pretty That's much. really crazy. That's like shocking, actually. That's like wow. wild. There's a lot of cucks out there, what do you mean? I mean, people do that. Like, I'm cool with that. <laughs> But like, that's for me, that's like a hard thing to fathom. Like, just your ex, like... He was in love. Why did they break up? They didn't, <laughs> you know? they didn't, they didn't break up. It's like, they loved each other forever. She, her and her last dying sure. request was, can, can she have like, sex with, sex oh with her God. ex one more time? That is so... It's probably bad. the best sex she ever had in her life, so she... That is so, that's so demasculating. I don't know. Emasculate. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Okay. Crazy. So, would you leave your man for a one night? Okay, fling with. Who's like your biggest crush ever? Would I leave my man for, your for, biggest crush for my ever? biggest crush ever? I guess what you're trying to say from like their childhood or some shit like that. Any biggest, whatever your biggest crush. Mm -hmm. Chris Brown. Like a past relationship or like a celebrity no. crush? Yeah, yeah whatever it is. It was a crush. No. What the fuck? Okay. That's crazy. I don't know that person. You sure? Like my just like a Yeah, what if they crush? What if they were like, yeah, come with me to Bali, come with me out here to this romance. If I was like in some solid, you know? No. Not really. You sure? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not too sure about that. I think a lot of females Go for that all the time. I'm a faithful girl. Okay? <laughs> I, you know, I am faithful as hell. Would you oh. be a side piece or a baby mama who gets cheated on? Are you saying choose one? Yeah. Would I rather be a side piece or a baby mom that gets cheated on? Yeah. I would rather out of those two. <laughs> That's fucked up. I would rather be a side piece. <laughs> you rather be a side piece? Yeah, Why? that's tragic. What's wrong? With like you? if you cheat on me. What's wrong? With, what's wrong? Just like that's what's disrespectful. Wrong? Yeah. Why are you doing that? That's disrespectful. Why are you cheating? But the side piece is better than being cheated on. Yeah. yeah. Why? With kids in the house. Why is the side tough. piece better? Because you you. Fucking bye, you know, <laughs> like that's what it is to be a side piece. You chilling. That's you ain't why, got no responsibility. That's why he has it. side pieces. That's fucked up. That's why I said it's really fucked what up. <laughs> I have wow. to choose. That's crazy. Who do you mean you have to choose? I wouldn't want to be neither of those things. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I want to be happy. <laughs> I know this is a really fucked up question. I don't understand. I'm yeah, but that's why it's really a fucked up question. Like, would you want to be a side piece? Like, do you want to be somebody who doesn't have any responsibilities, but you could just like have dick, or do you want to be somebody? I don't know, I'm a guy, so I, I just, I maybe have biases, whatever. But you know, it's really <laughs> you, mean, you, you have biases because you believe that men are allowed to like exercise their right options. And I'm like, fuck I that didn't shit. say that, but I just, I just, just corrected her on what she was trying. But I didn't say that personally, you know. But I feel like you have a right to exercise your options, and when you decide to make decisions, and like you are trying to have a relationship with somebody who is not willing to do something like that, then yeah. But exactly, you know, then if you're in. both mutually like, okay, I'm gonna do what I want to do, you do what you want to do, and we still gonna be together because we love each other, versus like somebody that feels like that and somebody that's like, oh, I just want to be monogamous, you know, like yeah. I didn't say that. I know, I was just saying, like, that's oh, <laughs> Don't, let's hey, let's not try to put okay, continue, like, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> would you invite your ex to your wedding? You Let's put would you invite your exes to your wedding, all of them? All of them at the same time? What if they know. what if they all showed up at your wedding? There was one I have the best ex ever and like, you know, that's like my no friend needs to type know about shit. That. I'm never telling nobody about that. No nobody needs to know about that shit. Like you know, you don't, you don't keep friendships with your exes? Uh, look, 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 look. Like I, I'm saying like I'm gonna tell you friend. I'm gonna tell you personally from a confident man, she ain't she ain't the type of person to to be all like 
she may still and I don't So so this don't, is this is the thing. Like it don't bother me. But if I had sex with you, I'm not gonna talk to you. Man, but nice. if I did not have sex with you, I'll talk to you. Okay, so like it was an ex that it was like we were like really young Very and we never intense. got to be together type shit, basically. Yeah, we and so it was like we literally talked since we were like in high school for like ten, like just the longest time. So like we're friends. Like you, it wasn't. What do you it was think like a forbidden what type shit. What do you he think he away. still wants to this so like, day? Oh, you know, I'm sure. Like whatever. But gosh, we're friends. Like I'm saying, we're just buddies. Wish him the best. Shout out to him. You know. Come on, next question. Okay. 